<laughs> okay. Interesting. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shannon Noah. I'm a cosplayer, an artist, and a streamer. Before we begin, I do want to clarify. Sticker Mule reached out directly to me to see if I wanted to beta test their upcoming product. To which I said, yeah, why not? Free product is free product. That being said, I am not being paid by Sticker Mule to make this video. Everything that you see in this video are my own opinions based off of what was sent to me from their company. I understand some people do not like Sticker Mule as a company, and that is okay. And I understand completely why you would choose not to use Sticker Mule. Free product is free product, and obviously I wanna see what kind of product they're putting out there in comparison to some of the other products I see in my own shop and in other artist alley. So without further ado, let's take a look at these keychains. So upon arrival, they come in a small little box. You get 10 of these, at least this is what they offered. They offered 10 keychains. And I went with one of my most popular designs in my shop, which is my Ramatra keychain. Now for the example piece, I did already take off the protective film, but you can see that they come with the protective film, which is a good sign. So let's take a closer look. The first thing I've noticed is this weird green line surrounding the print. Now on this side, the print quality isn't bad. I think that's a little bit of dust. Yeah, that's a little dust for me. The print quality isn't terrible on what I, this is actually the back side of my keychains. But when I flip it over, I notice this grainy texture immediately. That is part of the printing. And that's a big red flag for me because I wanna see product that looks the same on both sides. So I thought maybe it was just the one. It's not. That They all have this weird print quality. On top of it, whatever ink they are using for their print, it smells really bad. Um, it is a very strong chemical smell, which I understand that it's um, like a form of UV printing they do to get the image in between acrylic keychains, but I should not be able to smell it as soon as I open the package. So that is just one thing to be mindful of when buying these. Another thing that I've noticed with these keychains is that there's like this weird like fog and it's kind of hard to see right here it's almost like the adhesive didn't fully cure between the two pieces and you know what i think that is the case or at least you can see the adhesive going around the edge and that just doesn't look clean to me and that's really disappointing because this side looks really good and this side you can see all those imperfections. Now, I did already go through all of these and let me just go ahead and dump these out for you. Now, most of these unfortunately came damaged. And what do I mean by that? Well, like we saw in the first example without the cover, hard to tell but you can see right here the acrylic is chipped now I thought it was just one piece until I saw more of the common chipping occurring on more of these pieces not all of them have it but a majority of them do now you could say well maybe it's just the clear film and some of them I've peeled back the film just a slight bit just to see if, if that was the case. And with some, yeah, it's not chipped. But with others, they are chipped. And that concerns me because if I was a paying customer, I wouldn't want my keychains to arrive chipped. That is a big no-no. Something to just think about if you're looking to start an artist alley or you start a, an art shop. Just keep in mind that if you go with these in particular, some of your stuff might arrive chipped. Now, it might not bother you because I know some people do what they call seconds 
or B grade, where an item might not be perfect, but they are able to still sell the product at a lower price because of damages, chips, or whatever the case may be, misprints. I've done it in my own shop. So if you are okay with the occasional misprint, mischip, whatever you want to call it, then by all means, be my guest. I for one would not because as a fellow artist alley artist, I pay a lot of money for my keychains and my product and I want it to arrive perfect the first time. So once again, another thing that I noticed about how these keychains are made is the acrylic that they sandwich it between. Now it being super thin should not be a problem, but I had one or two that arrived like this. And this is a major no-no. This is horrible quality because my keychain should not separate. This tells me that whatever adhesive they used for these keychains is not strong enough to keep the top layer of acrylic pasted to the bottom layer. And that's very disappointing. I would hate if I got if I ordered 50 of these and all of them arrived like this. So this one actually arrived pre-separated. I went ahead and kind of stress tested a few others. And I noticed now you might say, you're just using force. You're forcing this to happen, right? Because with enough wear and tear, eventually your keychains are going to break down regardless, but they shouldn't break down to where I can actually stick my fingernail between the plastic and the print this easily. This should not happen. This should not be a thing like that easy. It's popping off and that's really disappointing. So if I bought 10 of these to sell at my next artist alley event, that's now at least two that I can't use because they are separating super easy. You should, what I like to call, stress test every single one. And it seems like every single one of these keychains break in half super easy. And that's really concerning. Every single one. Now, again, you might be saying, well, you're just, you're forcing your fingernail in there. You're right. You're absolutely right. And you want to know why? Here is my actual Ramatra keychain that I sell in my shop. Link below. And this is from my trusted manufacturer. And this one is stick from Sticker Mule. Now, granted, they only offered me two inch keychains. That is fine. I typically sell three inch keychains. I like the look of larger keychains personally. And the difference between Sticker Mule and my trusted manufacturer, look at the lines. Now it might be hard to see, but on Sticker Mules, you can see the clear separation of the acrylic pieces. Whereas my manufacturer, that's like non-existent. I am not able to physically put my nail between the layers and that's what you want that's what you want in your your product so this is this is needless to say very disappointing now i understand that this is a new product that they're going to be offering so the only thing i can hope is that they improve upon how they go about making their keychains but for now i don't think i can use these so i'm probably going to just give these away to friends and family and people who do not care that they are slightly damaged. Now, in return for the free product, I was asked to leave a review. So I gave them two stars because I do genuinely enjoy the print quality on the one side. I, I don't mind these type of key rings. You can actually pop these off. I don't have the finger strength right now, but these are like interchangeable loops. I don't mind that. That's that's whatever. That's kind of null and void. 
but everything else I could not see myself giving it higher than a two and a half star rating. So in return to that review, they sent me 10 more. Their customer service, very nice. They were immediately on top of this issue. They told me, you got a defective batch, we'll reprint it for you for free. Which, I didn't pay anything the first time anyway, so the reprint should be free, but that's how the email was worded. So, no worries. They were super nice. They got it done and out in two days. That's fantastic turnaround time, I have to admit. So, let's push batch number one off to the side really quick and dump out batch number two. Um, so, I haven't super looked at these too, too much. I did open it just to see if there were 10. There are 10 here. Now, everything looks exactly the same as the first batch. Um, there are some glue inconsistencies like right here that that bugs me that tells me that they kind of just put a dot of glue or like the glue kind of splattered onto the print and dried that way which means their quality is still not where it needs to be so i went through every single one i've noticed that some of them are still chipped this one has a chip right here and that's unfortunately um, the byproduct of the laser that they are using. So here's a really bad chip right here. You can see that. And what's truly, truly unfortunate is that all of these are unusable to me as someone who sells in the artist alley, because again, that should not be separating as easy as it is. Now, I do want to let you guys know, I told them in my review, the adhesive is not good. They need to either spread an even amount of adhesive over the entire keychain to make sure that there's a guaranteed fit and snug tightness to the keychain or something else has to happen so this split doesn't occur. But obviously according to them my first bad batch is all of their batches and this is very very disappointing i'm super excited to get these and now i'm just upset that i really can't use them for my artist my next artist alley show so i have 20 of these ramatra keychains that are kind of just going to be sitting here <laughs> until i hand them out to whoever wants a defective keychain um if people want to buy one, um, that's something that <laughs> they'll, they'll have to reach out to me for. But as of this point, I am not even comfortable putting these in my shop. So that's very, very disappointing. With that being said, I don't think I can use Sticker Mule personally for my shop just based off of the product that I received. The print quality was good, there's too many chips, and the fact that these split in half so easily doesn't sit well. Especially if someone were to buy it and they get it and it splits the next day. It makes my shop look very bad and very poor quality. And I want higher quality products in my shop. So, um, unless Sticker Mule reaches back out and is like we fixed our formula we fixed how we did our keychains uh would you like to try again for free i will not be spending my own money on these i would rather put it towards my own manufacturer um i don't think i can use that i don't think i can use these keychains with confidence in my shop in conclusion unfortunately can't recommend these if you're new to artist alleys i would recommend finding a different manufacturer there are so many manufacturers that you can find online through our other artists the artist alley network so many different resources for better quality keychains than using sticker mule. what is upsetting to me is i wish i had a manufacturer um, that was as local as sticker mule are to me these guys are less than a state over so 
the fact that they were able to ship so quickly is what I like. But other than that, I can't use the product until things are fixed. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the video, I thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video, please leave a comment down below. It helps me know what kind of content you want to see from me for future videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. It helps me and it shows me that you are here and watching my stuff and you enjoy my stuff, you enjoy my content. Without further ado, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.